The suit emission in Port Harcourt and its environs continues to be a major concern for residents who attribute the cause to illegal oil bunkering and gas flaring by multinational companies in the Niger Delta. Speaking in Port Harcourt, some residents say for the directive to yield the desired result, there is need for provision of alternative means of livelihood for those involved in the act, especially modular refineries. And I do not think the River State government is doing enough to tackle the issue of suit. If enough was being done, the governor would have released the report of the committee he set up on suit, which we've not seen the report here today. But if we see that report, which is a process of investigation, we'll get to know the sources of this suit. I know that artisanal crude oil refining site is being seen as the only source. It is not actually the only source, but because that report is not out, we can't really identify the percentage of pollution and black suit that the artisanal refining is contributing to this. So I think the governor has to do more beyond what he's currently doing to address the issue of suit in River State and especially to provide alternatives for youths who are involved in artisanal crude oil refining. If the state government said the local government should clamp down on bunkering activities, it is going to be a holistic matter. We are responsible men of the society who will be engaged to engage this bunkering. It can be a dialogue thing. But if you say you can get a youth boys that are not properly fed to go and start fighting bunkering, of course, these bunkers will take care of these boys and then this menace will continue. It will be recorded that in the past few months, Petron has been fighting this battle. We have been going from places to places, smoking out the operators of artisanal refinery, otherwise known as Bow Fire and River State. We are happy that the River State government has come all out through the directives of the governor, the local government chairman, to fight this fight. Residents suggest that the best way to curb illegal oil bunkering is employment generation, calling on the federal government to create jobs for the youths so as to engage them in viable economic ventures. The issue of clean and renewable energy is also another area that I think that if the capacity of youths are developed and they are giving skills in that direction, it will help to do. We here at Youth and Environmental Advocacy Center, we are working at modalities of creating and establishing solar farms in communities starting this 2022 so that youths who are involved in these processes can get other alternative opportunities within and around those solar power systems. Go to the villages, they will tell you they prefer that bow fire crazy just for them to survive because it is cheap. Yet, government does not think of how to produce, bring it down. What happens to the refineries? Is it wrong for a state government to build a refinery? Every Niger Delta state is big. They can build refineries for them. Produce. If, if you say, if, if, it, if it is the modular refineries, you do it and do it well. Let the boys come. Engage them. Diplomatic solution can also be on stream. If you arrest or clamp down on the artisanal refinery operators, you bring them to book and give them a, a, an op, a, a alternative of setting up a modular refinery. I'm sure that between now and the next few months, this area would have been turned around to become an employment hub for the nation. The people command the state police command for the swift action in the fight against illegal oil bunkering towards reducing the level of suit in the state. State forensic agencies have not been refused to stop the illegal crude oil refining activities. It we have no option than to take necessary measures to tackle this particular and direct challenge to our collective health and survival by ourselves. Consequently, I've directed the chairman of the city local government council to go after all the illegal crude oil refining sites along Creek Road and all adjoining areas of the protocol city and shut them down with immediate effect.